know, I've been the American Heart Association's national volunteer since I had open heart surgery nearly three years ago. And I had the real kind, you know, where they crack your chest and take your heart out of your body, and then they put you on a machine and make you breathe. Well, they did that to me for 22 minutes. A lot of people say that I had great doctors and I was lucky. I was, but I was much more blessed than anything. I'm really passionate about going red and have committed to wearing red the entire month of February, every single day. I mean, I have packed my red exercise leggings and I better not see that on TMZ anywhere, okay? <laughs> One thing that really moves me about the Go Red for Women campaign is the passion and commitment from everyone who plays a role in this important movement. Some of you may have heard that Yes, three years ago I was diagnosed with heart disease. And as I said, although the surgery was complicated, it was a complete success. Some of my doctors are in the audience right now. Talk about a blessing. But as someone who thought that heart disease didn't happen to people like me, it was also a wake-up call. Heart disease is our disease. Whether you're a mother or a sister, whether you're black, white, or Hispanic, whether you're on TV or simply watch it at home, Heart disease does not discriminate. It is the number one killer of all women. 